Camacho, Ecuador. Infamous since 1962. Everybody located in the cigar blog. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have not reviewed one of these before. If I have, somebody please let me know. Uh, but otherwise, we have another round from Camacho, who is apparently going for runner-up for world's largest band, the winner being Obsidian. Needless to say, this band is going to get uh, yanked pretty quick. But, supposedly this is an all Ecuadorian cigar, I think. I don't know, don't quote me on that. Got a little bit of a breeze going up here, so hopefully I can just go ahead and torch and scorch and uh, like not get caught in a rainstorm. We're off the bat. Aroma is very cigar, tobacco. Okay. Clean tobacco. Creamy. Probably need to fix this a little bit, light wise. Okay, so, kind of running a little late today, and uh, yeah, it is a scooch. Freezy and cloudy. And um, yeah, lights kind of fading. Weather looks like it's about to dump shit on top of my head. So I'm going to get back to the uh, Yoldy Tunnel of Love and uh, fix the light and see if anything wakes up. Okay, so got a pretty decent inch in. Pretty much. Looks like it's about to completely dump out in the holy hill, and there's still people out here on bicycles. Gotta be careful. Anyway, flavors have been, I wanna say clean tobacco. I wanna say there's like a slightly graham crackery cinnamony note. A little bit of a spiciness in the mouth. Touch a bit in the retro hill. Keep hearing somebody. So I'm just waiting for that little kid with the cardinus spokes to, you know, make all kinds of noise coming up. Anyway. Yeah, overall, not so much sweet, but definitely a little spicy. Smooth, clean back, a little earthy. Touch better. Overall, not bad. Definitely interesting. Anywho, I'm going to get this down to the halfway point, see if anything wakes up, changes, or does anything different. I'm also going to keep an eye out because I don't want to get run over by bicyclists. Yeah, they're still out and I like, got talked to by two of them on the way back. So, yeah. See it that way. Okay, getting to about the halfway point here. My uh, light was a little lopsided, so a couple of touch ups here and there. Otherwise, it's been actually burning very, very well. Flavor wise, a little on the pecan spiciness. Honestly, a little creamy. Good clean tobacco. Retro Hill has kind of a slight prettiness to it. I want to say an almost, well, an almost fruity floral note. Yeah, overall, it's just good, traditional, strong cigar flavor. Not bad. Drink pairings, whiskey, coffee. Pretty much your classic cigar accoutrements, right? Oh boy, yeah, it's getting a little doom and gloom out. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else to say, but it's like, hmm. So far, it's proven to be just a good cigar. Yeah, just strong, classic flavors. Very cigar, you know, like you walk in the cigar lounge, this is what they're smoking, you know? Kind of that kind of vibe. Okay, so, this is the weird thing. I'm in Colorado, right? Middle of the most, like, landlocked state out there, right? Why the hell do we have seagulls? I mean, I can understand like a garbage dump, but like, there's the middle of a field. Well, anyway, minor weirdness aside, I'm gonna get this down to the nub and see if anything wakes up changes or does anything different. Also, hopefully not get rained on. I'd say it looks like a pretty good nub. 
I gotta be a little careful about the bicycles that are here. I swear there's like an NPC spawner around here somewhere that occasionally just like pops them up out of nowhere. Specifically to bomb my video. Anyway, past the halfway point. There goes go from being classic cigar, a little spicy, clean tobacco, a little creamy, to mellow down a little spice a little bit and having a slightly floral note. Overall, not bad. <clears throat> not bad. Yep, so he's walking. Oh, anyway, by and large, Camacho is a classic brand. Been around since the 60s. Been around for good reason. They make good stuff. Definitely check them out if you get a chance. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up real quick. If you like this review and any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, I have a Twitch channel Sunday night to Friday night. Yeah, Sunday night to Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Blah. Kind of trying to get into its own thing. I'll just stop advertising that. Anyway. Not much else to say. Check these out. Smoke them up with a good whiskey. Enjoy a good afternoon. Yep, that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.